So I told her to take it and stick it in her ear. Yeah. Her finger. I can't believe you'd tell her that. Yeah. That the finger lady hit us again. Oh, did she really? Mm -hmm. Where'd you see her? In the store. <laughs> you oh. got us change stores. I know. It's terrible. I love the store, well, but... Well, I uh, saw that Prudami guy. What's uh, that uh, the guy, that chef down in... Uh, uh, Nolan's. Nolan's does all that fine stuff down there. What's the name of that restaurant he has? Uh, down in New Orleans. Oh, I don't know. I don't Prudhomme. know either, but, but anyway, Prudhomme, you know, he's that, he's that right uh, big one, <laughs> hefty one, that does oh, it's all Louisiana that, Kitchen or Yeah, Louisiana like Kitchen. Well, anyway, he does all that fine cuisine down there. Uh, that's Cajun. Cajun stuff. And I saw him on Larry King show the other night, and he prepared some stuff, and he not only, he stuck his whole hand down in it and licked it. Good. Just kept on doing it. Mm -hmm. Nobody said a word about it. People retching all over the country. Of course, when you're <laughs> making that kind of money, I guess you can do anything you want to, you know. <laughs> and it hadn't really stopped us too much. No, a little operation like ours, uh -huh. I guess, you know, what can you do? I mean, we don't even wear a hairnet. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Strictly against Virginia law. But uh -huh. anyway. I never understood that. Some you people remember Miss Virginia people. Law? She Virginia Law, good <laughs> one. Lovely. Well, what is your tip for the day while well, we're the, sitting in the old kitchen? Uh, the tip for the day is concerned with the cuisine of Hungary that we're working on today. Oh. You know, there's more to Hungarian cooking than goulash, and there are more paprikas than you can shake a stick at. But a lot of people don't realize that. They just go to the store, give me some paprika. I never realized it. Yeah, there's all kinds of paprikas. There's sweet, hot paprika. Mm -hmm. There is uh, mild paprika. There's the grocery store kind. There's all sorts of different kinds. Is there the, generic paprika? Oh, sure. That's what we buy. Most people buy in the grocery stores, oh. if you don't know. So you have to read the labels and see what you're getting. Well, I thought paprika was paprika. No. It's What's the difference? The peppers that go into it, because mm. the Hungarians love the capsicum peppers. Capsicum mm -hmm. peppers. Th those are the, the hot peppers, as opposed to the bell peppers. Oh, you know, yeah. You remember bell pepper? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> she was a good friend of Virginia law. <laughs> but that's one of the foods, <laughs> that's one anyway. of the foods that the new world has contributed to the old world, uh, peppers along with potatoes. Uh, hmm. And the pepper is spread all over the world as a major ingredient of everything from Indian food to Chinese food and Spain, but it's very, very popular in Hungary, in Hungary and in, especially in Hungarian paprika. I'm disappointed I didn't bring my ink pen with me today. Uh -huh. I could have been writing all well, now, this down. Do you have paprika in your dish? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I don't have any in mine. No, I don't have any Well, at all I guess today. that's why we told everybody that, so they wouldn't feel bad about having Hungarian food without paprika. Maybe I did, but I don't think so. I don't know. I'll check it. Well, well, let's go, go over here and right see now. what's going on. Let's go check it right now. I don't want to tell you. We're going to go to the kitchen. So here we go. Paprika. Well, let me let me just show people what I've got going over here. No, I don't and, have any paprika in mine oh, today. Oh, neither do I. Well, take your time now. Take oh, your time. Oh, I'm just so frantic about it. I have a large Ooh. stew pot filled with stew. No, it's uh, chicken broth. It smells good. Uh huh. With some onion and green uh, celery chopped up in it with the leaves, and that's the basis of what I'm going to do because I'm doing liver dumplings. Doesn't that look pretty? Mm -hmm. It's a nice, simple stuff. Yep. And so these liver dumplings are lots of fun. And I'm going to start right here in this bowl. And in this little pan, I have a small onion that has been sautéed in a tablespoonful of margarine. Got a good ring to it. Yeah, it does. Hello? Must be real china. And in this fine plastic bowl, I have a hard roll that has been soaking in milk. Now I'm going to squeeze the milk out of this roll. Mmm. Mm, 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 Boy, mm. that looks good. Yes, okay. indeed. Let's see if we can. <laughs> I'd walk a country mile for some of that. Move this around to get it into the picture there. <laughs> yeah, there we, we all want to see. And it uh, <laughs> I'm squeezing. Don't want to miss a minute of it. All right, now I'm going to shred it down here into this. Larry, do you want to? Do anything over there on yours while I'm doing this, or shall I just go ahead? Oh, well, I'll go ahead and start right. while you're shredding. I'll go ahead and start just the, right. the first little portion is this does not take very long. This is a 10-minute dish at most because we're doing trout, trout with mayonnaise, and we're doing sea trout today. You can do it with river trout, 
whatever trout you want. Fresh water. Robert trout. <laughs> All those people. Anyway, uh, fresh water trout. We're going to put two cups of water in there. We're going to get it boiling. And in there, we're going to put a half a cup of white wine vinegar. Mm -mm -mm. Half a cup. And we're going to put uh, three peppercorns. I'm about 16 peppercorns over there. One, two, three, four. Uh, and we're going to put a bay leaf. You know, I've been dragging this around so many places, it's all crumbled up. I take these bay leaves with me everywhere I go. You never know when you use one. Now, bay leaf, a little bit of salt. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of salt, salt will, will wash away. away. Okay, and uh, what else? Oh, and then and the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an onion, an onion, an onion, and I'm going to slice it up into thin slices and I'm going to throw it in there. We're going to bring it all to a boil and then we'll go to the trout just a little while. The trout is standing by. Fresh trout. I just <laughs> caught this a few minutes ago in the creek out behind the station. Oh. It's funny, they come in these little packages now. It says five dollars and fifty-two cents on the side. Of it. <laughs> but anyway, now I'm gonna slice up an onion. You've seen me do it before. It's amazing, but I'm gonna let him go on ahead All right. and start current time. All right. Back well, later. While that's going on, now I've got my uh, right here in my bowl, I've got the uh, small onion browned and the uh, the hard roll has been soaked in milk and squeezed out and then shredded. And now here is a quarter pound of chopped liver. Ooh, boy, doesn't that look good. Yeah, you don't buy this in the store. You buy chicken liver. You can use any kind of liver you want, beef liver, pork liver. Is that liver, ground up? And it's ground up. I ran it through the food processor. Oh, it just looks so appetizing. Mm-hmm, mm. real good. Mm -hmm. And so there is that. I have a and knife that cuts sideways. Figure that one out. This right. knife don't cut straight. And I need some parsley. Well, what's wrong with it? So let me, let me just, uh, I'm going to need a tablespoon of chopped parsley here. We have a fine crop of parsley today here on the old cooking sheep set. Beautiful. Sprouted up right in the middle of our stove. Do you know I went out in the, in the garden uh, yesterday, Lair, and looked at my parsley that didn't, that never showed up last year is making a comeback. Can you I believe just went it? all to pieces. You know what? The same thing happened to me year before last. Uh, I planted, <laughs> planted all this beautiful parsley. I planted two kinds. I planted the flat kind and, uh, and the what, squiggly kind. Mm -hmm. What's this stuff called? Hunt, curly, and mo. I planted all three of those. I had the shimp kind. The shimp kind. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a fella. Anyway, nothing. Just hardly a little bit of nothing. And all of a sudden last year, that stuff shot up out of there. I like to put my eye out. And it just was like this, just great big clumps of it. Beautiful. Look like, see how it looked like that camera person's hair. Look. But anyway, now what are you doing? Oh, I, well, I've added a half teaspoon of salt and, and a dash of pepper. Are you finished with this little bowl? Yes. Well, I think I'll just uh, dust it out there a little bit, get the dirt out of it real good. <laughs> oh, no. No, all I had in it was a little yeah. sugar. Why are you always trying to break things like I eggs on the side of little plastic bowls? Well, they beyond should me. do it. There they are. Now I've got to beat it up. I don't have a fork. Well, I'll, just I'll get you a fork. That's all right. I'll use the end. No, I insist. I'll get you a fork. Well, while I, here is this mixture. Let me stir it around a little bit. Here. Here's a fork. Thanks. Appreciate it. Now let's stir these two eggs up. These two eggs have to be beaten, and there they go. And now I'm going to put in a half a cup of bread crumbs. Hey, I you said, said it right. It right. <laughs> Normally he says other things. I, I have a speech impediment on that w word, bread crumbs. All right, now while he's mixing that up, I have sliced this real thin, real thin, this onion, and we're going to throw that in there with all that other combination of sugar and salt and the three peppercorns and the bay leaf and the uh, white vinegar. And we're going to cover that up. We're going to bring that to a boil. 
when that comes to a boil, we'll be ready to go on to the next portion of the program. Boom. There. Now, I will tell you that in adding these breadcrumbs, you kind of have to watch the consistency. And you start with the half a cup called for, but if it looks like you're going to need more, don't hesitate to use I it. I have always, you know, I've always, interesting you would mention that because I have always found that is true of every recipe I've ever done using breadcrumbs. You have to be real careful. You can't always go by precisely what they say because your volume of liquids and what have you vary a little sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or now, the consistency of whatever else you're mixing it with varies. Now, you know, I made this, uh, this dish up in a trial run that last we had. week. Yeah, we did yeah. a fake program just and, to see uh, if it would work. I, I think I had too many. It caused the program didn't. The, the dumplings were such a mess. I don't know. I took them home, and I thought and ate them, and I thought they were real good. They were a little bit heavy, a little heavy well, laden. Right. Now I don't know how you now, can go you have about. You to flour the, your hands real good. Flour them hands. All right. Lady. And you reach in here and you grab a a load of this stuff, <laughs> and it sticks right to your hand. Is that what that means? Uh huh. Now, let me drop that in there. Well, there it goes. And you flour your hand after every time you do it. Now, those things will cook, and you'll think they're not going to do right, but they will. Do right. All right, I have just, they have signified to me with their bare hands that we all, <laughs> okay. 50 of us, i got to get this Well, you go going. right ahead. While I'm going to just keep making these dumplings, they need to be the size of a walnut. Okay. I have a fresh trout. It is a fresh trout, all right. And we're going to take that now. That is boiling. We're going to put that in skin side down. Whoo! That thing is strong. It was fresh yesterday. Not so fresh today. Oh, it's fine. Do you think it is? Yeah, well, it looks pretty, course. though, doesn't it? Uh huh. It looks real pretty. They wouldn't say yet. But oh, well, no, I don't mean that. I'm not saying they would sell me. I've been carrying it around in my car all day. Oh. So there it is. See, when you do TV shows, it's no fun. It's not like doing stuff at home. You don't just go home and cook it. Sometimes you got to go to a hundred other places, meetings, things. I've been doing stuff all day, and this fish has been with me the whole time. All right. Covered it up, 10 minutes, then we'll get some other stuff going on. Laban? Well, now, if you can notice, this is, a, this is not a, a, a job for the faint of heart because uh, you drop them in, you think you're never going to see them again. But if you notice in the pan, they are now beginning to come to the top. And Larry, I really think that these might be a little lighter than the ones that I recently well, tried Well, they look out. a tad bit fluffier than the others did. Oh, look, and they're rising much faster. Uh -huh. I think they're rising faster. Those others were thrown in there and they didn't come up for an hour. We thought they was goners. But these popping right, popping right back up. Uh huh. And and when they pop up, are they ready? They're just about ready. Just They'll about need to ready. go a little longer to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Now it's important to remember when you're preparing this. Layman has never mentioned this. When you try and get these out, you don't reach in there with your <laughs> fingers. All right. Now don't do that. All right. Now be careful, Layman. Don't stick your fingers down in there. And you just have to keep what am I supposed to be doing? flowering your hands. I don't know. Well, you're going to act like a you're silly going idiot, to, and I forget what I'm supposed to be. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Trim Let me your, know when you're ready. Trim for your radishes. So. We'll just oh, go yeah. right on and yeah, do it. Yeah, I have. I want them to see this. I think they're real pretty for this time of the year. Isn't that lovely? Start like overhead shot of my radishes. They're just be. Aren't they gorgeous? It looks like a little. What? Well, look. As a matter of fact, if I could put them. Uh, what do you think, huh, Layman? Oh, Pretty you could wear that to church give this Sunday. this as a corsage to one of the ladies that work on set here, and they could wear them to their next affair. Anyway, of course, none of them here have an affair. But anyway, oh, they wouldn't think no, of it. <laughs> no one they'd be, no one that they'd like to admit to anyway, uh, in public. There's none of that stuff going on. Oh, around not this at this place. station. No. no, indeed, not at Peyton Place West. <laughs> All right. What we got to do now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little, uh, Laban taught me to do this last week. He is so talented, I wish I had the man's talent. And uh -huh. what I'm going to do is make a little flour type of thing. I think just, I've had it. What? Now you see what you do is you just take those and <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, <laughs> I feel like Ben Vereen. <laughs> and we're spreading these out, we're making little, 
little flowers. They're not even looking at you, Laban. You may as well knock it off. And uh, you see, a little flower. Isn't that pretty? There he is. <laughs> Good heavens, he's, <laughs> he's all dressed up in white hand. <laughs> That's a cute little flower we just made. Isn't that pretty? No, it isn't. It's real ugly, but I don't care. That's what Laban taught me to do with them, and that's what I'm going to do. So you just take them, and you see, make a little indentation on it, about three of them. And then you just spring them open. They work real well. And that's your little, little, de that's your little decoration, your little flower decoration. Lovely. It's real pretty. All right, that's enough of that. We've wasted enough time on that. Let's show them this recipes. <laughs> These recipes. Let's show them. One time over the fence, throw the ball, baby. They're gonna be showing a recipe soon. Oh yeah. Anyway, you know they will. I, my, now my, my trout They're is trying. just boiling away in there. It's just boiling like crazy, feverishly. It's boiling in there with the peppercorns and all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Look at those onions in there. They're pretty. There we go, trout with mayonnaise. Two cups of water, which will bring to a boil with uh, half a cup of white wine vinegar, one onion sliced real thin, three peppercorns, just throw them in a hole. One bay leaf, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, sugar, two medium trout. I have one cut in half for brevity's sake. Radishes, parsley, mayonnaise. And uh, that's, that's our thing. Good. Now the liver dumplings has a small onion chopped, tablespoon of margarine, uh, a hard roll soaked in milk, a quarter pound of chopped liver, a tablespoon of chopped parsley, half tablespoon of salt, a dash of ground pepper, two eggs, a half uh, cup of uh, breadcrumbs, and some stock. And that's all you have to have. Very simple yeah. recipes, really. You know, fish, fresh fish like trout and what have you, are very simple. Now, all of them little babies just floated to the top, except for Susie. She's still down there, somewhere. I don't know where Looks she is. Looks good, though. No, it they does. Really you know do. what? I believe these are much uh, fluffier than last week's efforts, mm -hmm. which, by the way, even after a week, are still with me. <laughs> uh, with me. <laughs> and a just, lot of people are out there kidding. going, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, hey, look, but those things they are really good. are good. They are good. They're sort time. of like matzo balls. If you know about matzo balls, that's what they're like. And this would be a great dish to bring you back to life in case you're, you know what? Miss Witch is here. She's going to put both of her eyes out before Sorry. it's all over with here. This is the most exciting part of the show. <laughs> oh, no tongue. No tongue. All right. What? Dear boys. Yeah. Hold it. your breath. We are... Not literally. Oh, okay. We are behind the Iron Curtain in Russia. Yeah? Toot says she'll barf if she has to eat <laughs> another beet or turnip. <laughs> Some man followed us everywhere we went yesterday, so we invited him to our room. Hmm. When he left this morning, he said he was going to defect to Albania. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's pretty bad. It's, it's love, sister. Well, for goodness so sake. So where does this mean we're going uh, to? Next week, well, they've Albania? got... Albania? No, they've got a little uh, microfilm glued to the back of this card with the recipes from Russia. Wow, well, I swear they've and sneaked them out of the country. And we're going to do Russian recipes. they sneaked them across the border. Right here on the show next week. Now, we're still waiting for... Jan Trout, who has Ooh, a few more minutes to go. Jan Trout. Meanwhile, I'll tell you what we're doing here on the side. We've got a little thing going on the side here. <laughs> come, <on. laughs> come over here. <laughs> come over here and show them this. You got, any, got enough light there? I hope so. The set's well lit. Of course they do. Now, what I have done is made this beautiful uh, interpretation. This is uh, my own interpretation of a flower, a little parsley, and a glop of mayonnaise. Talk about your, your Take new belle bit. cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful dish. Now, you, you serve that on the side. I didn't know that last week in our trial run on this program, in our rehearsal run, uh, we uh, put this all, I smeared it all over the trout, and I was told I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> so this week, I'm doing the right thing. There uh -huh. it is. It's real pretty. Now we're just going to throw that, ease that trout right in there on the side and a couple of them Without balls on the it. side there, whatever uh -huh. those things are you just fixed. 
go in there too. These dumplings. So dumplings, yeah. And, inc dumplings. and incidentally, you could serve these dumplings as we're going to do right on the side or they could be served in a bowl of soup before this meal. This would make a wonderful full whole meal. Well, Laban, could you how, give us a five-minute discourse on this? <laughs> I'd be glad to. Preferably four and a half <laughs> no, minutes. No, you don't want to hear about it. Oh, I don't? No. The, uh, one, Do you reckon this trout is done? Now, let's tell no, these let's, folks, so you know more about seafood than I do. I don't prepare a lot of seafood or any kind of fish. Well, you know, a lot of times they say when the fish flakes, it's done. Yeah. And well, is this what's called yeah, flaking? Yeah, uh-huh. It, so do you it's think done. that's done? I, I really think it, so, it's probably some of the lower part down around the skin might be a little gelatinous, but that's the way it's actually supposed to be served. Mm -hmm. Gelatinous? That means that some of the fish bones and the stuff in between the bones has not cooked all the way through. But now you know in today's cuisine, like you know, sushi and all that kind of stuff, they love sushi? that raw fish. In, uh -huh. in Japan. Yeah, well, they do. So it wouldn't hurt us if we ate a little raw no, it, fish. It, it looks well, I'm gonna it go really ahead. I'm going to turn it off and uh, I'm going to cover it just well, for a Well, let me tell you about minutes. these Hungarian dumplings, though, because. Uh, the oh, we want to know all about the, it. Now, give me a, a teeny break. Uh, the, the dumpling is a favorite <laughs> form of food in Hungary, and it comes in all different sizes and shapes. There's a spatzel uh, that's. Uh, you find in a lot of different countries, and that's a real neat dumpling because you do your dough up and then you put it in your hands. Mm -hmm. And you do, you got a big glob of dough up in your hands, yeah. and you you do it like, a, a, who is a, that Spanish yeah, comedian? All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Senor Winches. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And you, Good you night. squeeze it like that and it squirts out of here. Oh, dear. And you hold it over the pot and you drop little doodly doos of it down in the in the boiling broth <laughs> and that's the way you do it. <laughs> They're finger dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can stand it. <laughs> oh I bet you could. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's what? but now, now is it the same wonderful. basic is it the same basic recipe? No, no, it's a it's a whole different dough. It's more like an egg pasta dough. Well now these definitely are done. There's no telling. Yeah. Now what could you do with all this wonderful broth? You know what well, now, I have like to I tell you, you so could, last week when I, I took the whole mess home, right? When it was all over with and uh, actually, I'm just trying to get a shot of the bracelet. I think it's real pretty. I paid about 200 bucks. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> I swear <laughs> he has no I shame. I, no, I didn't really. Uh, it does look very pretty on TV. But anyway, uh -huh. uh, last week I took that home and tried to make a gravy out of it. It was the biggest mess I've ever seen oh, in my life. Oh, no. It, it would be much better as a clear soup. As yeah. a clear soup? Mm -hmm. I should have served it as a clear soup? Yeah. You're telling me now? Yeah. All right, let's get this mess right, Well, here, on let me plate. put a, a dumpling over there on. Well, wait a minute. Let me get the fish in place, and then you'll know where to properly place the dumpling. Because <laughs> the fish has got to land somewhere beside this beautiful uh, interpret. <laughs> <laughs> this beautiful rendition. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's, uh, that's the greatest, greatest to plenty. plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. All right, there you go. We'll pass that on, and then we'll take another big old piece of fish. Yeah, well, I don't think you need all those onions, but if you want to leave them on there, darlings, that's fine with me. I don't care. Whatever turns you on at home, you go right ahead and do it. Ah! What's wrong? That hot fish is awfully hot on my thumb. Oh, is it? Which it strayed over into the fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep your fingers out of it, and it won't hurt so bad. Well, we're going to go over here now. Oh darn, they have uh, and, uh, <laughs> you almost killed yourself. I don't know why he has this cord. It's just awful. Well, I'm going to have it surgically goes, removed. <laughs> We've taken that's, him to the that's hospital. That's my famous uh, imitation of Mickey Mouse. Well, I'm going to try well, one of these dumplings. Well, I'm going to try Oh, you fish. know what? Now, what? to the now to, just to the fork, you can tell it's a lot uh, lighter. Lighter than it was. Oh, really? Good. I'm thinking last week we had to take a little we had a little saw on the set, but this Mm, the fish is delicious. And this is really good. I'm not kidding you. You've got this now. Two mm -hmm. times, he only tried it twice and it was fabulous. Oh, mm, 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 mm. What's the fish like? Mm. Is the fish really good or is it too fishy? Oh, no, the fish is wonderful. I would like to try this with a fine really brook is. trout. You know what I believe? Well, you know, I tried to get that yesterday and they didn't have any. I was a little disappointed, but they really didn't. They didn't have any. Uh, you got to catch that on certain days when, it, when they got a special at, at, at your local Kroger store. They're very good mm -hmm. about getting fresh trout and stuff in. Mmm, wow. That's wonderful. Or telling you when they're going to have it in. 
And that's what you have to wait mm. for. Wait for a special on it, you save a lot of money. It'll be perfectly fresh and it'll be wonderful when you fix it. This is very good, mm -hmm. despite the fact that it followed me around all day long from meeting me and people will go, what is that? Anyway, mm. we've done well. I'm oh. extraordinarily proud of this. Jeez. Um, I'm going to talk about it for 30 seconds more. No, this is <laughs> wonderful. Good it is. I've had a real good time today. I have it's too. sort of deja vu. And where is she when we need her to sing? Who, deja? Uh -huh. no. no. Vu? What's her name? Um, Dion oh, Warwick. Dion Warwick. Deja vu by you. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at BlueRidgePBS.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.